With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. One question is, area common to the circle x square plus y square is equal to 64 and the parabola y square is equal to 4x is. In this question, we have to find area common to the circle and the parabola. We have to given here a circle x square plus y square is equal to 64. Let this is equation number 1. And second is y square is equal to 4x. This is equation number second. This equation denotes parabola and this denotes circle here. Now we have to find here the point of intersection. Put the value of y square is equal to 4x in equation first. We have to get x square plus 4x is equal to 64. From here we get a quadratic equation. Here x square plus 4x minus 64 is equal to 0. Now we have to use here minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a to finding the roots here. Now here we have to know the value of b is 4 and value of a is 1 coefficient of x square value of c is minus 64. Now we have to solve here we have to get minus 4 plus minus under root b square means 4 square 4 square means 16 minus 4 into value of a is 1 and value of c is minus minus plus here is 64 now in divided by we have 2a value of a is 1 now we have to solve this here we have to get minus 4 plus minus we have to take common from this root 16 after taking common 16 we know that when coming outside from root we get 4 here now under root we have to get 1 plus 16 in denominator we have to get 2 now solving this, we have to getting here minus 4 plus minus 4 under root 17 divided by 2. Now taking common 4 from numerator, we have to get minus 2 plus minus 2 under root 17. 2 is cancel out by 2 taking common 2. Now we know that we have 2 roots here. Minus 2 plus minus 2 root 17. We get here the value of plus minus 2 plus 2 root 17 and here we have minus 2 minus 2 root 17 we have to use here this value because here we have this value is greater than 0 here we have greater than 0 and here we have to given x coordinate so here we have to get this positive value because this greater than 0 so we have to get the x coordinate is equal to x point is equal to minus 2 plus 2 root 17. We have to neglect this value because this is negative value. Now, we have to make here circle and parabola. Here we have to first draw a circle in this coordinate. Now, we have to draw here a circle. First, here we have to draw circle, then parabola. This is the circle whose radius is equal to 8. From here, we know that the general equation of circle is x square plus y square is equal to r square. On comparison, we have to get r square is equal to 64, r is equal to 8. And center, we know that here x square plus y square. Center, we have to get 0, 0. The circle center is 0, 0. Now, we have to draw here a parabola. y square is equal to 4x. Now, this is the parabola here. y square is equal to 4x. Now, here we have y square is equal to 4ax and the point here origin 0, 0. Here we have to know that the, we have to find the area bounded by curve this circle and the parabola. This area. We have this area and here we have this area. We have to find this complete area. Now we know that these both area are symmetric to each other. Here area 1 and here area 2. We have to find area 1 and double the area A1. So, we have to find this complete area. Now, we have to let this point P. We have to find this value minus 2 plus here we have to this value point P is equal to we have to find X point. Point of intersection here. From here, we have to get X is equal to the point is minus 2 
प्लस टू अंडर रूट सेवनटीन दिस इज द पॉइंट हेयर ऑफ पी विच इज लेट हेयर एंड कोमा हेयर वाई वन नव दिस इज पॉइंट पी पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन फ्रॉम हेयर वी गेट माइनस टू प्लस टू अंडर रूट सेवनटीन हेयर कोमा वाई वन नव फ्रॉम हेयर वी हैव टू नो डेट वी परपेंडिकुलर ड्रोन ऑन एक्स एक्सिस हेयर दिस इज एक्स एक्सिस दिस इज वाई एक्सिस नव फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड एरिया फ्रॉम दिस parabola for this area then we have this p2 here we have to let we know that this point is 80 radius of this circle now we have to solve this area area is equal to twice of twice because we have to find this area and twice of this area we have this complete area now from here we have to get twice of first we have to take Limit here zero to p. We have to let p is equal to here p value is minus two plus two under root seventeen. This value is p point here. This value is p point here. Now from here we have to get this value is equal to zero to p here. This limit zero to p. This is the y of parabola dx plus. Now we have p two this eight limit. We have to get p two eight. Now here we have to get y of circle dx. We know that x square plus y square is equal to 64. Y square value is equal to here we have to get 8 square minus x square. Y is equal to under root 8 square minus x square. Now we have to put here the value. We know that y parabola from equation two we have to put this value. We have to get here the value is limit zero to p. We have to put the value of y parabola from equation two to root x dx plus here the limit p to eight y circle value is this under root eight square minus x square dx. Now we have to know that integration of under root a square minus x square dx is equal to x divided by two under root a square minus x square plus a square by two sine inverse x by a. Now we have to solve this using this integration. We have to solve area is equal to this two in multiply. We have to integrate this value from here. We have to get this two is constant written outside. We have to integrate under root x is x power three by two three into here the denominator two is in numerator. Here we have to get limit zero to p. Now we have to this value parabola value here. We have to get limit here. This parabola sol. Now we have to this. We have to integrate this. We have to get the value x by two under root sixty four minus x square plus sixty four divided by two. We have to sine inverse x by eight limit p two eight. Now we have to sol here. Putting the value of limit here first upper limit then lower limit. From here we have to get This two in multiply. This two two is a four. Four divided by three. Here we have to get upper limit first. P power three by two minus zero lower limit. Plus from here we have to get first put this upper limit. We have to get this value is equal to here we have to get eight eight the sixty four sixty four minus sixty four. This value is completely zero. Plus from here we have to get thirty two. Now we have to here sine inverse eight by eight. That means sine inverse one. Now we have to here put minus lower limit. Here we have to lower limit p by two under root sixty four minus p square plus thirty two sine inverse. We have to get p by eight here. Now we have to solve this equation. From here we have to get area is equal to this two in multiply here. Now here we have two. This solve four by three p power three by two plus. From here we have to get this thirty two. Here we have to get thirty two sine inverse. We know that one value is sine pi by two minus. We have this value. Here we have p by two. This value we have to know that under root sixty four minus p square. Here we have to put. Under root sixty four minus p square plus thirty two sine inverse p by eight here. Now we have to solve this. 
now we know that the value of p is equal to minus 2 plus 2 under root 17 put the value here we get area is equal to 8 by 3 the value of p is minus 2 plus 2 under root 17 whole power 3 by 2 plus here we know that this value is 32 pi from here we have to get this p value is minus 2 plus 2 under root 17 into under root 64 minus value of p is minus 2 plus 2 under root 17 whole square now from here this value is minus 64 sine inverse value of p is minus 2 plus 2 under root 17 divided by 8 here now we now we have to solve this here we have to get 8 by 3 minus 2 plus 2 under root 17 whole power 3 by 2 plus 32 pi minus minus 2 plus 2 under root 17 into we have to solve here a minus b whole square identity now under root 64 minus 2 to the 4 plus 4 into 17 minus 2 into here minus 2 here we have to get this value is uh, multiply 2 under root 17 now we have to left here minus 64 sine inverse we have to take common this 2 we have to get minus 1 plus under root 17 divided by 4 now from here we have to get this value is equal to 8 by 3 minus 2 plus 2 under root 17 whole power 3 by 2 plus 32 pi now we have to solve this value here we have to get minus minus 2 plus 2 under root 17 we have to solve this under root value we have to get 64 minus 4 plus 64 plus 8 under root 17 now we have to here minus value 64 sin inverse minus 1 plus under root 17 divided by 4 here now from here we have to get 8 by 3 this value is minus 2 plus 2 under root 17 whole power 3 by 2 plus 32 pi now minus we have minus 2 plus 2 under root 17 this value is we know that after solving we have to get under root minus 8 plus 8 under root 17 here now solving this value we have minus 64 sine inverse minus 1 plus under root 17 divided by 4 now the final answer area is equal to we have 8 by 3 minus 2 plus 2 under root 17 whole power 3 by 2 plus 32 pi minus minus 2 plus 2 under root 17 we have to get this value in under root we have value is under root minus 8 common 1 plus under root 17 minus 64 sine inverse we have this value minus 1 plus under root 17 divided by 4 this is the final area here square unit this is the unit here now this is the area here we have to find the value of area now checking option here we get none of these option match of this answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today